Hello, my lovelies. I know what you're thinking. Another tutorial so soon? Yeah, well, we'll see how this one goes because I don't really have a full out plan on what we're doing with our hair today. Um, we're winging it <laughs> because it's rainy and gross outside. So I have to wear my hair up, you know, otherwise it just is going to be stringy and gross. Um, but I don't really know what we're doing. So let's just start. Um, I do at least know how the beginning is going to go. Uh, <laughs> so you want to split your hair down the middle. Mine is already split there because I had um, French pigtails last night. So, um, because I was planning on doing braid waves today and then I woke up and it was gross. So, let's get half of it out of the way. So it's not all up in our works. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Alright, um, so we're going to do kind of a French rope looking thing on the side. Though it's not nearly as difficult as a French rope. Um, it looks very similar to one of the uh, Claire Danes hairstyles from Stardust, which if you haven't seen, you should. It reminds me of The Princess Bride a lot. Um, and it was based on a book written by Neil Gaiman, who is awesome. If you haven't read any Neil Gaiman, seriously, read some Neil Gaiman. Um, start with Stardust if you're not sure, um, but you have to read American Gods because it is awesome. Anyways, okay, enough about books. Um, we're going to start with a section. Imagine that! A section of hair. Alright, um, and we're going to separate it into two parts like this. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this part up and down like so. And now we're going to just take a little bit more. So we'll make that section a little bigger. And again, you want to roll up and down. Um, so basically we're keeping one strand uh, static for the most part. Um, as in we're not going to be adding any hair to that particular section. We're just going to keep um, adding hair to one. There's no twisting. Like I'm not uh, trying to make it rope braid. I'm trying to keep it smooth but not rope braided. So we're just kind of pulling it back and that's it. Just keep adding a little or a lot. You know, if you want a nice big roll, then you can add a lot. Um, but this is all we're doing. We just keep kind of pulling it up, flipping it down, and keeping hold of the one original strand we started with. Um, see, this isn't hard. This isn't hard at all. Um, yeah, so you just want to do that until you get to the last section or so. It's going to be a thick section. Don't really care because, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Okay, when we get to here, I'm just going to twist it a few times because, you know, as I do, we will end up untwisting that, but it at least keeps it in a section. Take your clip from the other side. Clip it off, like so. It wants to unroll. So let's clip it up like this. And unroll a little, but there you have it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do to the other side. And then uh, I'll come back and we'll see what we do from there. Because I still don't know yet. Okay, back it is that. All right, we're back. Um, we should have two kind of haphazard rolls happening. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a hair tie and uh, put them together. So, um, let's see, I'm a little loose back there, so I'm going to wrap mine around twice and then just hair tie it off into a pony and we'll see how that looks and where should we go? We should go from there. Um, Alright, is that in the center? I can't tell, let's look. Um, mostly at the center. I have a little weird bubbling here, but that's okay because I'm putting it up, so I think we're going to cover that up. Um, but it does 
still cute from the side. Okay, so we're this far. Um, by all means, you can leave it at that, but I'm not gonna. So we need to put it up. So what kind of bun should we do? We could do a braided bun, I suppose. But I'm gonna get creative. So let's separate, let's say five sections. So this will be our first one. All right, so what I'm going to do is take this section and I'm just gonna roll it up um, like so. Three fingers down somewhere towards the end and I'm just gonna do this number and roll. Roll, 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 roll. Alrighty. So we're rolled up and we are just gonna pin it in place. Um, I'm gonna use my big pins. So yeah, we'll just pin. Let's pin up here. Try to hide them. They probably won't be totally well hidden. If you'd open. Alrighty. So that one's pinned. And let's take the next section. And we're gonna roll it and pin. Hmm. Feels like it's gonna be more like four sections. Oh, we might still get five. We'll see. And again, three fingers and roll it up. Doo -doo, doo -doo. See how easy this is? bitty bonds because um, my hair is a little heavy and it'll hold neater. All right, so I'm going to want to put um, two up here. So when we get to this side, I'm going to have to like string it um, up and over. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> so let's get us a section. Push it out. Three finger roll. So you don't want to roll all the way up since we're going to have to bring it up and around because we will end up covering that up. Pull it off your fingers, situate it, and pin. As you see, this will be slightly messy, but that's kind of what I'm going for. As in, this old hairstyle? Psh, you just throw this up in seconds. Kind of, sort of. All right, I'm just gonna have a look see to make sure it looks like what I think it should look like. And for the most part it does. Um, I know, a lot of you are like, it's a little willy-nilly. But you know me, I have a finishing in mind. Um, so yeah, we actually did end up with five sections. So I'm gonna do the last two and then I'll be back, okay? Alrighty, we're back. I did end up putzing around with a couple um, of my little buns because the uh, whorls were coming a little loose and this one up here I could see my pin so I took them out and put them in so they're not as noticeable. All right, as you can see, this is up. It's mildly interesting, but you know, no great shakes. But as you know with me, everything is in the finishing. So let's get the pretty pins out. Uh, pretty pins. I'm gonna use the multicolored one, cause I can. And we're just gonna put them in wherever it looks like they'll be welcomed. Um, which is just, you know, pretty much wherever you feel like sticking them. To add some sparkle and interest. and they're pretty solid. We'll leave it be. Hmm. hmm. There. All right. See this loop? It's being weird. It needs to be tamed. Loop. So I'm going to add a pin. 
just to tame it up a bit so it's not being chunky dunky. Yeah, amazingly, I cannot see the back of my head with a hairbrush. Go figure. Oh, goodness. All right. Another one there. Okay, so if you can see, I left this tiny little gap right here for good reason. Um, don't laugh. But when I was at the craft store, I found these little bitty birds. Um, you see they have sequins on them. So I bought them to put in my hair. And I'm going to put one in this little hole right here on this side. Like so. Little bitty bird. He seems crooked. Let's see if we can get him in there a little better. Little bitty bird. Nice. And as luck would have it, I have two. So we're going to put both of them in. Because I don't know when to stop. I am a tacky, tacky thing. But that's okay. So what I was kind of going for was a bird's nest motif, which I think I succeeded with fairly admirably. There we go. Two little birds. Like love birds. All right. Um, I do have a couple more sparkly pins, which I'm going to add. Uh, you know, before I take the picture, but pretty much this is it. Um, we went for romantic sides and a bird's nest in back. Um, yeah. So anyways, there's an updo. <laughs> Off the top of my head kind of thing. Any hoodles. Um, I hope you like it and you can futz around with it and make it look um, more professional, like instead of just Doing the wraps, you could do five rope braids and they make little rope braided buns, which would be very pretty. Um, but we were going for kind of a, whew, look, I just threw my hair up look, so. I don't know, let me know if it was successful. I usually don't wing it. I usually try styles five or six times before I ever film a vid for you guys. But, eh, I figured, let's just see what happens when I do make it up as I go along. Alrighty, um, I will see you guys before too long with something. So until then, have a great day. Bye.